Greetings, you people, and hello, my king. How's it going? How's it being? This is Mariah Stone, bringing you more with uh, live the kingship sitting nice and pretty right over there. And we're about to uh, continue on where we left off, which is right here in the swamp again, next to Vasca's house. I was gonna say Vasca's. For some reason, I want to say Vashta, not Vaska. Vaska left grain on the altar and found a knife there the next morning. Bad omen. Yes. Signifies wrath. Those strays from the dry lands are the cause. The Lord's wrath will reach the intruders. Pray we are spared. Nothing to do. Except spout bad omens. Skip. Skip. Can I get back? Sir? Sir! Do you mind? Mind moving. I would really like to get into this house right now. I can't. Perhaps you'd settle down here. We could use a warrior for protection. Perhaps you would like to be, I don't know, a foot and a half shorter if I cut off your knees. Excuse me. I would really like to get where you're currently blocking. I would like... I want to get into that house. Maybe if I run into him, he'll move. Perhaps you'd settle down here. Uh, we could use a warrior for protection. Perhaps you'd settle down. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm not gonna get angry. I'm not gonna get angry. I am going to just wait him out. Nothing to do. Motherfucker. God damn it. I swear to God. I, I can't wait him out. I do not have that much patience. Oh, there's a campfire. Where's the campfire at? I will, I will get down on my knees. And pray at a campfire that I can't get to because there's a a two foot fence in the way. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Let's go on this side. This is going well already. Um, I'm gonna wait one hour. Obviously, the guy who's blocking my path to Vasca's house will be removed. Removed. Right? Let's go see. Looks like. Let's talk to Vasca now. That we can. Eh. These people are all still praying. The water lords and I. I do not doubt it. Was another witcher here, Berengar? Was another witcher here, Berengar? Yes. Asking about alchemies. He wondered about the mage's tower. Kalkstein doubtless sent him. Then we found his gear covered in blood in a clay pit. Thanks, Vasca. I saw signs of fighting there. Not monsters, but men. Evil men from dry lands, flaming lizards. Beware! Um, the druids didn't take your boy. If I find him, I'll see to a safe return. That's true, because we checked out on the druids, and the druids were like, Hey, nah, son, we don't take boys. Right? We just don't- that's not how things are done. The druids didn't take your boy. If I find him, I'll see to his safe return. The boy is gone. A warning to all. We must prepare. Prepare for what? The water lords and I! Hmm. I know it should be now. You need an ointment for your jaw. For your chin there. You look like you got something brewing. Kalkstein, an alchemist, claims you know about the tower's mage and its sentry. Kalkstein, an alchemist, claims you know about the tower's mage and its sentry. A powerful sorcerer once lived in the swamp, an apprentice his only companion. All changed when a woman entered his life. A fairy tale beginning. But the end differs. For a wicked woman she was. He fulfilled all her wishes and she took advantage of his might. Who is the woman? Unimportant. I'm listening. Blind love spelled the mage's demise. He called upon forces he could not control and died. What about the guard? The mage's lover could tell fortunes and the mage created a deck of extraordinary tarot cards. He illustrated a future event on each card. And? Golems guarded the mage's dwelling. Those spared the ravages of time survive at the cemetery, where they remain motionless. One of them is the guard? Yes, the most powerful golem acted as sentry. The tower card depicts how the golem can be revived. In turn, this will open the tower anew. Take this card. I no longer need it. I just got treasures. I should look for Berengar near the pit clay pits. He's dead, sadly. 
I promised that I would take the boy home when I find him. And thirdly, thirdly, we got a card. I need to discuss this with Cockstein. Huh. Raw right, and I have other things I want to say. The water lords and I. Hey, will you shut up, please? Life in the swamp must be dull. No, I would really like to uh, play dice with you, but you don't seem like the dice playing type person. I'm going to get rid of this wine. You know why? Because I want the I want the money. Get rid of all that too. There we go. And in fact, I'm going to keep some beer. The dog tallow I will also keep. Do you have dog tallow in, in your in your in your things? No, you do not. All right. Well, we're going to leave back and we're going to go back to see Kalkstein, I believe. Kalkstein. Back into the swamp. Who are you? Brick maker. Brick maker. More brick makers. They all brick make. You're not a brick maker. Who are you? I'll be a bar when I'm older. Right. At least you know what you want to be. A lot of kids don't know what they want to be when they grow up, when they're that young. They're like, I want to grow up and play video games for money. Um, wait, have I talked to you? What is it? Yeah, I'm here about the notice. I'm here about the notice. Finally. Got the hides? I do! Ten wolf pelts! I do. Ha <laughs> ha! wolf pelts. Wonderful. The title of Royal Jägermeister will be mine. Else, I'll become a mercenary. Wait, I just helped you become... Ah, that's strong. Ah! I just helped you become Royal Jägermeister? Why couldn't I be the Royal Jägermeister? I would love to be a Jägermeister. Put in a little glass bottle with a deer on front with a little cross. Put me, put, put me in the freezer, the chest freezer down in the bottom. And then forget about me for about half a year before everything's all haywire. And there's a lot of drama in their lives. And like... Holy shit, I need something to drink, but all my beer and whiskey is gone. I'm like, oh, that's right. I've got Jägermeister down in the bottom of my freezer. Maybe I should go grab that and drink it. And then they do. And then at that point, I am I am the hero. I am the hero. I am the Jägermeister that just say, I, I am the hero. I love it. Who was Barnhart? Old Leo was a legend. In some ways, he was like you. He killed without emotion. Just like you would kill a, a lame drowner. He was the best. Tall, slim man. One gaze from those empty eyes could break a man. Was he a mage? No. He slew some witchers. Those who riled the peasants. Magic tricks and witchers' reflexes proved useless against him. But he's dead. As they say, he hit a harder rock than he was himself. Ooh. Yes. Take care, witcher. Alright, and farewell. Nice little story you got going on there. I feel like I should talk to the to the ferryman. Did my sword just do a weird it did. Cool man. My sword can do weird tricks. It's not doing it right now though. I'm watching it. I'm watching my sword very carefully and it's not doing the weird tricks it was doing just a moment ago. I can't talk to the ferryman either. Apparently he doesn't want to talk. So there's a place of power inside the swamp that I can, um, that I can click on and then teleport straight to Cockstein's lab. Actually, you know what? As Angamot had told me, maybe I should just look at the different quests that I have here. Sad Titans from Vesemir when I see him again. Oh, that's right. But there's things that I could do here. If I were to do them, then I would, uh, look for a stronger opponent. I would get, um, experience points for it and... Maybe progress. I should go to the dike where I can expect the merchant Luvardin to have a job for me. Wait, I've I done that already. Conducts his business in the daytime. Um, Ram's meat, taller. I just want to kill Ram's meat for the hell of it. Um, I should have a serious talk with Vincent. I couldn't find him, at least not at night. The Al Ghul contract. I must. Collect the marrow of three algals for Coxie, but I have to get into the cemetery to do that. Vivaldi. She questioned the dwarf. Yes, about his bank. Right? It was being used. Although he doesn't own it anymore. Um, The Drowned Dead. I should see Siegfried and collect my reward. Really? I did not know that that's something I could do. Uh, I could get Dog Tallow. Six Dog Tallow. Crown Witness. Transmeet men assaulted the hospital. I need to speak with Raymond. 
Okay, there's a few things I could do for sure. Well, I'm gonna go over here first and foremost because I do remember a, a few cut up bodies over here. And I do mean cut up because it, apparently it was a sharp blade that had these men meet their end. There they are. Anything new? The monsters have torn a lot of the flesh from the wounds. It's uh, obvious they're mortal. It was a uh, sword. Sharp one. Alright, well, that's not gonna help me. That's something I've already known. I don't have anything to put in there, do I? I do not. Now, where's the place of power? Can I find one? There's a place of power, and there's one there, too. Um, one just above me. Let's go this way. Yeah, I hear you. Do not throw things at me. Or is it? Am I almost there? I am. Hello, boy, hello, boy. Where are you? I want to get out of here. Teleportation! Let's make it work. Can I click on that? I would really like to click on it. They're afraid of me. Ha, ha, ha. Of course you are. Because I am a damn witch -up. Okay. You know what? Can I have my... Thank you. And he's dead. Perfect. I'm not even worried about collecting anything from... I would love to get... There's another one. Alright, fine. I'll kill you too. He's not actually fighting. I suppose that's the ribbon. Why am I... Gl I am moving extremely fast. Handled! Now, let's go back to the place of power and get out of here like I wanted to in the first place. Yes! What do I want to do? I would love to go to Coxie's laboratory. Mm hmm. What will I not deny? He's saying I'm drunk. I'm not drunk. What? I deny it. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. Uh huh. Let's see. About the tower, I found the thingy and the basket person, and she was short and a little, a little dumb around the edges. But you know, she happened to said things that I, I am now going to re, re, repeat. About the tower. Yes. Vasca helped me locate the tower tarot card. It describes how to wake the sentry. Let's see this card. Interesting. Much depends on interpretation, but I think I understand. Alchemists find it easier to understand other alchemists. Enlighten me. The sentry can only be woken if it's near the tower, which it is, and by using a lightning rod. A lightning rod? The drawing depicts a man in a crown, a reference to King Herman the Mad? Lightning rod. I do believe I was messing around with those little pylons there next to the whole the whole golem peoples, and I became the lightning rod. I was the lightning rod. It was not a good idea. I tried it over and over again. For science, same thing happened. I am quite determined that that is not what I want to do. Don't digress, Cogstein. Don't digress, Cogstein. You'll need a device that attracts and conducts lightning. Put plainly, a solid metal rod. A good smith should be able to forge one for a decent price. What next? Yes, we'll need a thunderstorm, but I have no idea how to make Mother Nature cooperate. I'll think of something. When you have everything, attach the lightning rod to the sentry. Energy from the lightning bolt will revive the golem. What next? No idea, but you'll manage. If you kill the golem, you'll be able to make a rare potion requiring his heart. Here's the formula. We'll see. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. No. Huh. Right. Um. What do you have? You have dog tallow? You do. I'll buy it. Here's the thing that I don't quite... Oh, what's this? I already have that. Um, thing that I don't quite understand. 
is if lightning was striking so effortlessly without a thunderstorm or without a damn lightning rod early, it was striking me on top of my cranium, on my dome. Why do I need these things now? Strange, I say. That potion adds you a skill on the tree. Does it now? But I still need the heart of a golem, which means I need to figure out what the hell to do. I'm gonna have the golem die by my hand and then reap the golem. Hello, how's it going? I need to reap the heart from the golem and then make that potion. Why are you walking like your hips are disjointed, disconnected from the rest of your spine? You know, you could not be walking prop. There's no amount of, like, nerve activity that could happen after you shift so violently from one side to the other side. You are really risking injury. You need to stop. Alright, um... Where am I going? Oh yes, I need to go to a blacksmith. I'm gonna go to this blacksmith. And he's gonna teach me how to make a metal rod. He's gonna tinker with my... with my rod. Where is... this blacksmith? Hello. Need something? Um, yeah, sell me your wares. Will you sell me your wares? Zultan praised you, so we can trade. If you care to buy something, see my apprentice. I do the forging and handle special orders. Uh, um, would you make me a lightning rod? A long, metal, rounded on the tip. I'll stop. Would you make me a lightning rod? A long, metal. I know what one is. We used them in Mahakam, when humans still prayed to storms. Ah, I see. You haven't learned much about lightning rods since. Can okay. you make a lightning rod? Are you trying to offend me, or can't you control <laughs> what you say? I can, for 50 orange. Deal. It's Come a back later. stick of metal. How hard could it be to make? I can make it. I can make it. It'd be simple. I'm going to walk outside, and he's going to fire his forge. Ting, ting, ting. Now it's ready to go. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can now get this metal rod. Need something? Uh, the lightning rod? The lightning rod. It's ready. Yay! 50 orange. What if I don't have that? Alright, fine. 50 orange. You might like we agreed. Helping out non-humans? It's fine. Did you say shit in your... Fine. Whatever. Like, the most interesting job he's had in a while came from a witcher, and all he wanted, he didn't want a sword. No. He wanted a lightning rod. Well, now that I got one, that's great. Um, oh, I could also talk to, um, um, everybody loves Raymond. Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. I'm gonna talk to Raymond. He's in here. Try talking to the gravedigger before you move to the swamp briar. You would need the expos. All right. I'm all ears, White Wolf. Are you? You look like, you know, nose, eyes, lips, look like you got a neck too, cranium, dome. I'm pretty sure you got a brain in there somewhere, I would imagine. Eggs, I mean, the eyes gotta be touched to something. Rib cage, sure. Beating heart. There's a lot more than ears. That's what I'm getting at. So I got to the prisoner. Yes, I did. And then what? So, I got to the prisoner. He spill anything? Nope. Didn't have time. Ramsmeat's man attacked. You sure? Strange. Rams meet one salamandra gone. Unless something I don't know about has occurred. Javed might have scared him. Or paid him off. Something to check. Mm -hmm. Did you get anything out of the prisoner? Mm -mm. One word. Oh, yeah. Kalkstein. Makes sense. Kalkstein's known to be a talented alchemist. He could be helping Javed with his experiments. I've met Kalkstein. He didn't look the criminal. That might be true, but we need to check all our leads. Let's get to work. I'll ask around town, talk to my contacts. You keep an eye on Kalkstein. Gain his trust. Get to know his plans and secrets. How hmm. do you want to proceed? Patience. This is just like fishing. I prefer hunting. Then gain Kalkstein's trust. Do him a favor. Learn something that interests him. You could get him to hire you. And talk to Ramsmeat, but don't overdo it. There's one with a short temper. I don't want to talk to Ramsby. I just want to kill him. I'll show him how short his temper really is. All right. Now, apparently, I need to get to the I need to get to the places. I was just told that I need to get to the cemetery because I'm going to need the experience. Um. Let's take a look at my journal. My journal. 
Lost Lamb, I already know about that. I promised to take the boy home when I find him, wherever the hell he is. Mysterious Tower, I have three Sephiroth, I need to find seven more. Dice Poker, the novice. I beat Carmen, I should look for another opponent. I have beat more than just Carmen. Carmen, I, I also beat, what's his name? The Dwarf, what's his name? I can't remember his name right now. But I beat him! Um... Dice poker. I'm mean, gonna play professional as long as I'm a novice. I need to get out of this novice thing. This, this is not a business for me. Memory of a blade. I have to grill taller about the silver sword to find out how it ended up in the Bazimba. Echinops. Rootstock for the gardener. What? This quest can only be completed if the bestiary contains an entry about Echinopsy. So that's another thing. I need to actually pick up a book about Echinops. Wait, did I actually did I pick up a book about Echinops? I don't remember. Anything about Echinops? Let's find out. Uh, monsters! Echinops, 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 Echinops. There you are. Do I know anything about them? Immunity, immunity, any effects, and blah, 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 blah. I do know stuff about that. Good! There's a lot to know. There's a lot to remember and a lot to. There's an antiquary here. Talk to me. What do you want? I want a, mm, a book. A book. Swamp plants. Not the book I'm after. Book of minerals. Mirable forest, subterranean plants, Fenoed. I've already read that one, that's something. Hellhound soul. Swamp monsters. Field plants, forensic medicine, treaties and application of medicine. You know, I'm gonna read that. That sounds like fun. The road of no return provides information on the. Mm, yes. Animating the inanimate, a scientific treatise on magical ways of building a golem. What? I'll read that too. Insects and other vermin. Book of Animals contains information on dogs and wolves. Cults and religions of the Nordlings. You know, I'm gonna read these two books. I just got two more books. I like them. I'm gonna read them right now. Eh. And... There it is. Read that. The book contains useful information about golems. Raw. A forensic medicine. Before beginning the autopsy, we must gather as much information as possible to help us interpret any marks we discover on the body. It is good to know that the victim was in, in what setting the corpse was found. Witnesses should be questioned and experts consulted. A well-conducted autopsy gives almost as much information as talking to the victim. We can learn when death occurred, its circumstances, and what happened to the body afterwards. We may also learn about murderers, any objects used in the murder, and the manner of their use. A corpse cut with a scalpel is like an open book. Whoever examines the details and carefully tests every hypothesis will understand it. Good. Now that I've read those books. What? What do I want? I want to sell them back to you. And there we go. Have that. You can have it. And that one too. And that one too. Perfect. Got rid of all the books. Hmm. Currently, right now, what am I thinking? I am thinking. <sighs> thinking of I need to get into the damn cemetery. And the only way to do that, to my knowledge, is to get the dog tello. And if I'm going to get the dog tello, that means I have to kill the dogs. I don't want to kill the dogs. I don't want to kill stray dogs. That's not my thing. Is there anybody else I can buy dog tello from? That's a question. Need, need anything? Um. No, not from you. Bye. Oh, I need to collect from Siegfried. Hello there. Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the order. No. Basically because I don't like you. I'm here about the notice. Hmm. I hadn't really thought about it. I'm here about the notice. I suspected it would interest you. Have you proof of slaying ten drowners? How about two hundred? I've been in the swamps, there's a lot more than ten. Here are their tongues. Here are their tongues. Wait, I must record this. Ten drowners. Good. Here's your gold. I got money. It's a hundred and hundred and fifty? That's it? Get well. Before you say no, let me give you some details. Uh no. Hmm. No, I'm not interested. Not in for it. 
The thing is, there is a problem, right? Slaying monsters for free. No. That's not, a that's not who I am, man. I'm a witcher. I slay monsters for money. I protect people like this dumbass for money. Because I'm a good guy. Can I get in that cemetery, Kate, please? Let me just let me pass. And I'm gonna have to kill the gravedigger. I'm gonna have to kill the gravedigger. What do you need? I would really like to get into the Why is the cemetery shut? Think about the notice. Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Fear not, they stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend to them, though. Perhaps someone will offer a reward. But for now, no one seems bothered. Um, I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me. For now, s and tell me something tell else. Tell me something else. What do you need? I hear about the notice. I'm here about the notice. Yes? I understand you need six jugs of dog's lard. I want you to cull as many mutts as possible. Bring me the lard as proof. What does he possibly want? What can I give him right now? I can give him three pots of the lard, but that's not the six pots of the lard, and what am I supposed to do for him? I give him, uh, sodden meat. Kidding? Kidding? No, I wasn't, actually. I was really trying to give you something, I don't know, a fist egg. Nope, apparently he doesn't like fist egg either. You know what, I mean, let's have a beer, each of us. Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! Damn it! I want to get into the cemetery, and I don't want to have to kill the dogs to do it. Vegan ice cream? Is such a thing even possible? There's a meme in there somewhere. Um. I am confused. I really would like to do things. Maybe I should just go take the damn... Pursuing an investigation of Vizima that should lead me to Azar Javid. Hmm. I should go talk to the dwarf. I'm going to go talk to the dwarf. And Vivaldi. And I'm going to go talk to Kalkstein again. Because I need to uh, question him anyway. You guys walk really tough. The soldiers, man. They're soldiers. They walk really tough. I have enough money for a sword. That's right. I just thought of that. I should go back to the blacksmith so I can get the sword. Uh, talk to me, please. Need something? Yes, I need a sword that you can make. And uh, will you sell me your Zolt? There we go. And there it is. That is the yes. I will definitely buy it. Yes. Wait. Which is steel sword? Yeah, that means I have the other sword on, right? Nice. And uh, wait. I just dropped that sword on the ground and that... Well, why am I paying 900 orange? Why couldn't I just trade to some degree? Like, trade the sword and pay him 400 orange. Seems like a fair trade to me. Door to Vivaldi, are you, are you scared of rain, dwarf? Run faster. <laughs> Run faster. That's a joke. Oh. Mm. Where am I? Hello. What brings you here? If you pass a full day, then meet the grave digger and booze him up. He will gladly fork over the key. I can't booze him up. I just tried to give him booze. And he was like, no, are you kidding? Also, I tried to give him fist tech, so maybe he's really angry. But anyway, I'm looking for the leader of a certain organization. How's business? Goodbye. I'm looking for the leader of a certain organization. You suspect me because I'm a dwarf? Nope. I have several suspects, not only dwarves. What do you want? I've got my eye on you. Stop it with Come that! Come back when you stop talking crap. I want to discuss Salamandra. Why? The professor's bail money came from your bank. You offend me deeply with this slander. But... Generations of Vivaldi's built this bank, and you suggest our gold serves criminals? Out! Ah... Uh, I believe you. I believe you. Why do you deal with the Scoyatel? I understand their cause, though I don't approve. So why talk to them? Cooperation is the only way of taking care of my interests. And with humans? Within the Lord. If we've no faith in the Lord, we've nothing. Now, goodbye. 
I like him. I believe him. I believe you. Nothing but a pile of suspicions. I have to assume you're clean for now. You've rejected racial prejudice and realized the truth. When you discover the true culprit, you tell me. I'm curious who it is. So apparently, as I'm just reading from the uh, the chat there, um, I need to wait about a day so I can go back to the dog catcher. Not the dog catcher, the cemetery guy. What is that? Undertaker? What the hell is his name again? Anyway, him. I need to go and approach him and give him something strong. I need to give him the strong stuff. Taller? What are you walking out in daylight for? You don't look like the old daylight walking type of fella. So what'll it be? We doing some plowing business? Well, no. Me and you are not plowing. Um, where did you get the sword? So where did you get the sword? What'll you give me if I tell you? I'll stop short of gutting you. That fair offer. Fair. I bought it from a man at the Hairy Bear Tavern. Care to describe him? No need. He's the most famous dice player around. Out fucking standing. A real goddamn magician. Really? You gamble? You gamble? I'm an absolutely fucking lootly great poker player. Why? Care to play? Don't make me laugh. You're a swiving amateur. Get some practice before you fucking bother me again. Fuck! Everybody's better than me. They think they are anyway. You move along. Shut up. I'm trying to go inside this building here. You're holding me up, sir. Well. Shawnee, hello, talk to me. Geralt, we need to talk. You said that before. Some people died at the hospital. Were you involved? Explain yourself. I wanted to question a prisoner, one of your patients, but thugs interrupted us. It was their bodies the guard discovered later. Hmm. I'll tell you what I overheard. The prisoner will be transported to a safe location. Thanks, Shawnee, for understanding. Just watching out for you. Yeah, alright. I'll see ya. See ya. Safe location, eh? Huh. Right, well, that's handy dandy. I can't. Don't look at me, dog. I'm not gonna kill you. I have to wait a whole damn day. I have to wait a day. Everybody's running from the rain. I don't know why. It's not like it's dangerous. It's just rain. Let's see. If I go this way and notice the lack of guards, look. What happened to Rams Meat Men? I don't know. Good question. Probably when it does. Um, I am going to walk all the way over here. I'm going to sit down in front of this fireplace. I'm going to rest for how long? A day. I'm going to rest for a day. Where am I? I'm here, right? Well, not a whole day, but I'm going to rest to the noon of the next day. In fact, I'm going to rest to there. 22 hours. 23 hours. That's how long I'm going to rest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some banged up knees, man. My knees are going to be hurting. This guy is driven to drink by looking at me sitting there for so long. Sorry, it's not really sexy. It's not really doing it for me. How did you guys come back? They're coming back from the dead. Ramsmeat is a necromancer. That's really strange. I look over at the chat, and people are laughing about what? It's hard rain, Briar. It hurts mere mortals. I can believe it. Okay, talk to me. Please talk to me. What do you need? I'm going to give you strong liquor, and you're going to be like, hey, thanks for that, soldier hooch. Nothing like a good drink. Right. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. You're not likely to tell me anything interesting. What do you need? A key, damn it. Uh, why is the cemetery shut? Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Fear not, 
They stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend. Yeah, I will. I'll do it, and you agree to pay me for I'll now, if I will. I think putting a dead body to rest is easy. Do what you will. Perhaps the watch captain will reward you. Won't hurt to check. What do you need? Um, the watch captain. Let's give him more booze. Lemon pepper vodka. Nothing like a good drink. Right. Yo. You're not. What do you need? I would really, really like to. The Guardian Lemon! Kidding? No, it was Nifaga. That was my hard liquor, man. Damn it! I can't get through here. Locked. Alright. So the guard captain, who is that? Is that Vincent Mice? Is that Vincent Mice? Why did he not give the key? He should give the key. Damn, I'm pissed off. I don't know why he didn't give the key. Kind of strange, I will say that. Who's the guard captain? One of these guys? Guard commander. Don't step out of line. Don't step out of line? I'm made to step out of lines, man. That's who I am. I'm a witch. I don't... Def I definitely don't fall in line. That's for sure. Um... Guard captain. Guard captain. Guard captain. Oh, wait! Guard captain! Would that be... Who's the guard captain? Is that the guy who has, like, the extra red on his back? Face? Extra markings? Where is he? Not him. Isn't there a guy walking around here looking a little bit more tougher than the rest? There he is! Siegfried spoke of you. No. Apparently that is not the guy I want to talk to. Um... I am thinking currently about I... I have to find an authority figure. An authority figure that happens to be in the know of how to uh, pay certain individuals, such as myself, for killing the undeadums. Excuse me. Both of you. Vincent Mice is out here, right? Now it's daytime. Yes, there he is. He's the guard captain? I don't know if he is, but he's Vincent Mice. If you hear about the warehouse, I'd advise you to think before saying anything. I will slap you with my sword. Deal with Salamandra. The warehouse was official business. The people you cut up wanted to testify against Salamandra. You're lucky they didn't have any valuable information. They actually wanted to trick me. Unconvincing. I don't care. Be warned. If you get in my way again, I'll slap your witch's ass in jail. Understood? I'll continue the investigation on my own. If you're involved in any way... Enough. Anything specific? If not, beat it. Hmm, he wants to slap my witcher ass in jail. Well, you can slap my witcher ass right here. Right in public. We ain't gonna be in jail. What's wrong with you? Alright, I wanted to talk to you about Salamandra. I wanted to talk to you about Salamandra. Okay. Someone informed them about my cockatrice contract. What are you suggesting? Uh, the professor, after you released him. Uh, several possibilities, mostly pointing at you. Several possibilities, mostly pointing at you. I'm not going to explain myself to you. You let the professor out of prison. His bail was paid. That's the law. It is the law. Uh, I get it. Observe the law at all costs. All right. I get it. Observe the law at all costs. Ugh. What do you do, knights? Meet your boss, Azar Javed? Nothing unnatural about spending nights in the trade quarter. Um, where do you get the gold for that? Where do you get gold for that? Don't always need coin to get by. Wealthy friends. I've got no real proof, so I'll have to wait to decide. Sounds like your mountain has turned into a molehill. That's what happens when amateurs try their hand at serious work. If you stumble upon any real leads, come by. I'll give you some useful advice. I ain't in triple seven, says Briar! What? What do you need? I'm gonna go to the trade quarter, but I know for hell sure that I can't do it. Ooh, I can gain a level. I have gained a level. I can add talents to my tree of things. That bird is flying awfully slow. Or I'm running awfully fast. 
I beg to say that it was the first, not the latter. You bring trouble. I bring trouble? I don't bring trouble. I bring resolution. My sword is heavy, and it resolves a lot. Alright. I ain't in triple seven. Notice me, senpai. I did, just now. It just happened. Hello. Wait, am I supposed to be senpai? I, mean, I don't know how to feel about that. So who's the guy that I'm supposed to talk to? Who's the guard captain commander? Who's the guy that I need to talk to so I can get inside that? I don't understand, man. I don't understand. Sultan Shibay, and the other people, and the taller. I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do right now. I just, I just literally walked in circles. I just went back and forth. I went one direction, cut a 180, walked back the other direction, just came, cut a 180, and walked back immediately in the other direction. I don't know what to do. Do you play? I played her in dice. I beat her in dice. There's got to be somebody that I can play currently. Is there more playing that I need to do with Zoltan Chevet? Maybe. I need to beat him another couple times. Am I drunk? Solve the dispute. You guys are disputing whether or not I'm drunk? I'm not drunk. There's no way that I could be as coherent as I am currently if I was drunk. Where's Ram's mate? I should go punch him in the face. Not going to, though. Con Conrad? This guy's got a name. Ugh, how can they drink this? What is it anyway? I suppose it's wine. Wine? Couldn't pass for wine, stepbrother. So what is it? Ugh, diluted dog's piss. Thus, I come here rarely. I thought this was the only tavern around. I live in the trade quarter, but the inns there are closed. Wanna earn some coin? Do you? All right, I mentioned you might have a job for me. Care to elaborate? You mentioned you might have a job for me. Care to elaborate? I know where to find fine spirit, but it requires a sword to get it. You need a warrior to have a drink? I know a place with hundred-year-old wine from Toussaint. What's the catch? The wine cellar is in a house where monsters now haunt. It'll cost 200 orange, It'll cost sir. 200 orange. Deal. I'll return here at midnight. You'll re Okay. It wasn't easy, but I managed. It wasn't easy, but I managed. Splendid. I have no coin, though. Drank it all away. I'll keep one bottle. You take the rest for your toil. Just as well. I don't have the bottles. What? You cheat? Leave me be. That's true. I actually, I got those bottles, and then I... And then I sold them all for a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Yes? Um, uh, who's the richest town? No, richest person in Vizima's Temple Quarter. Know anything about Vivaldi's Bank? How are you doing? Got a minute. Know anything about Vivaldi's Bank? No, it's only Vivaldi's by name. How so? Ah, I New see. owners. Humans. I knew that. That explains a lot. Really? Well, huh. I need to play another game of poker. You know what? We're going to end this video here for two... Tube? We're going to end this video here for YouTube. Wait, I need to go to a thing where I'm going to tell everybody I found proof of his innocence. Oh, cool. I need to tell Vivaldi that I found proof of his innocence. I'm going to end this here YouTube video for you with this roll of the dice and it's going to be a fantastic roll or not i've got two threes that's pretty much all i have what do you have you have nothing you got one son you gonna get wrecked man briar's wires on the whatever the hell's i'm gonna keep that six though i'm gonna get rid of these two bam no shit that's not what i wanted to do one two three shit um, ah, right, next round, maybe I am a little drunk, uh, not that I'll admit it, I got a couple ones, that's sad, he's got a couple of ones, and a couple of fives, loser, ha, <laughs> I'm gonna raise you 30, cause I'm gonna win, cause I'm all about winning, I'm a winner, I got three sixes, Two sixes. I got a full house. A full house. What are you gonna do? Nothing. You're gonna lose, man. Next round. 
Let's roll. I got fives. Three of them. Count them. One, three. You've got two pair? Psh, whatever, man. Who are you, who are you playing? Who are you playing? I win. Of course I win. Exit. Now, talk to me. Play me. Play me. Where's the dwarf? That. What's his name? There you are. Let you sleep. You're standing. Let me sleep. If there's anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this. And I'll see you again later. Have a good day. Have a good evening wherever you are in the world. This is Barrel Stone signing out.